And yes, we are indeed back with Desert Strike. And I'll show you why right now. One more campaign to take care of. Let's pick up pick our co-pilot. The best guy is still missing. Maybe there's some variable in the password which would determine that, but... Oh well. Then... Let's take the best gunner. So, this is the PCCD ROM version, which indeed has a fifth campaign. And let's start with it. I'm afraid you hung up your helmets a bit too soon. With Kilbaba wasted, his chief of staff, General Karanza, has taken control. We've just learned that some stupid traitor has sold Kilbaba's forces to parts to construct a super gun. You must stop this gun being constructed. One of our top agents is hiding out in a Bedouin camp, but radio contact has ceased and we think he's in danger. Oh my word! The frigate is under attack! And out we rush to save the day once again. We Yeah, at least the loading times are much more tolerable in this. Come on. Start up, will you? What? Oh. What we do first after banging our head against the wall is run away. There you can see a bit of a helicopter hanging around the frigate. But actually, we don't need to do really anything about that supposed attack on the frigate. It can't get destroyed or anything. Now, as usual, the first order of business is to pick up some equipment, which can be found in this building right over here. Whoop. Yeah, the super binge. And quickly run away before the tank starts firing. Yeah, well, this version of the game runs quite a bit faster, and also... This also affects some of the gameplay, such as those missiles, which are really quite easy to dodge, unlike the fire from this thing. Yeah, you want to approach those tanks with care. And as you can hear, the ro helicopter rotor sound just got cut off. I honestly have no idea why it does that, but it just happens. Yeah, and these things are also no problem as you as long as you have room to maneuver and nothing else waiting at you. Oh, damn. Already running pretty damn low on armor. This does not bode well. And I would want, like, to take care of that tank. Right. One Hellfire 2 Hydras. That's the recipe for a well cooked zoo. Now I. Now we can go take care of the actual mission. <coughs> Pick up Spy, he's under siege. And as usual, the other objectives are now. The map does show radar sites. Which is nice. See, oh yeah, armor repair is shown on the map. That's what we uncovered a moment ago. And well, that's about it. No new enemy units in this mission. Let's see. Oh man. 
I was afraid this might happen. Oh well. Back to the armor repair unit. Just pick that up. Here we go. Now let's see if we can take care of this so called siege. It really isn't. Oh, another one of our guys. It's not all that convincing. Damn, I missed it with my hair if I didn't die. That happens sometimes. Okay, here we go. Not a very good start for a daring world rescue. I'm afraid you have been misinformed, my friends. I know nothing. It's my brother you want. He is being held prisoner in a convoy of tanks on the road to the southeast of here. Yep, that would be the reason why we went down here first to take care of all these tanks and missile launchers. Cause we didn't find any anyone to pick up back then, but here we have a new tank with some guy. Mission 1 completed. And we're running low on fuel. Let's take it. There's a big build-up of activity at the airport complex. Carranza is shipping in parts for more than one super gun. It is protected by two radar installations. Yeah, okay. Airfield, destroy complex and aircraft. Protected by radar and now we can see the radar. Now I have no idea what that southernmost radar does. It's present right from the beginning of the mission and... Well, I tend to blow it up just to be on the safe side and I really don't want to crash due to running out of fuel. Come on. Oh. is really not starting out well. Ah. At least we got full fuel out of that. Also starting to run low on explosives. This takes care of that. Okay. These missile launchers are easy to take care of. I'd prefer to avoid those tanks whenever possible. Like now. Mm -hmm. There's our first landing zone. First one we've seen at least. Now, avoid that tank over there. It's best to approach this front from the southwest. Because on the northeast side, there is another tank. Okay, now. Let's see. Right here, we can hit the radar, but the tank can't hit us. Okay, one more radar to take care of. Unfortunately, that lies on the other side of the airfield, and naturally, the airfield is a danger zone with enemies. Just murderous in their effectiveness. But if we thrust right past. Along the northern edge of the map, we can get here without a scratch. <coughs> okay, and here we go. All right. 
and rush right back to the end thing. Alright, now time to begin demolition, but that'll wait until the next video. Now, being that I am on DOSBox, I do not have the luxury of save states, but I'll still uh, make only YouTube sized videos. In part because I have run into some nasty technical difficulties before when recording this, and I'd rather find out about them 10 minutes into the mission rather than after finishing it.